The Pakistan Army has formally inducted its first batch of Chinese-made Z-10ME attack helicopters during a ceremony held at the Multan Army Aviation Base. Chief of Army Staff General Syed Asim Munir oversaw the ceremony and personally inspected one of the newly delivered helicopters. During the event, he was seen warmly greeting Chinese personnel involved in the program. According to local reports, the ceremony included government officials, senior military leaders, and representatives from the Chinese defense industry. The helicopter was equipped with CM-502 air-to-surface missiles, TY-90 air-to-air missiles mounted on one side of the fuselage, and a 70mm guided rocket launcher. In addition to its weapons loadout, the Z-10ME featured a directed infrared countermeasure DIRCM, system, intended to improve survivability against infrared-guided missiles on the battlefield. The aircraft, manufactured by China's state-owned aviation industry and supplied through military cooperation agreements, is an export-focused variant of the original Z-10. It has been upgraded with features tailored for hot and high-altitude environments and low-level survivability. According to Chinese defense industry officials, the Z-10ME was specifically modified for overseas clients, with enhancements in armor, sensors, and electronic warfare systems. The helicopter is designed to support close air support, armed reconnaissance, and anti-armor operations. The induction of the Z-10ME comes at a time when the Pakistan Army Aviation Corps is seeking to expand and modernize its attack helicopter fleet following long-standing delays in other procurement programs. Previous efforts to acquire Turkish-built T-129 attack helicopters were hampered by export restrictions related to U.S.-made engines. The Pakistan Army has operated various rotary wing platforms for decades, but the Z-10ME represents a shift toward a more purpose-built attack helicopter design with integrated sensors and guided munitions. Its DIRCM suite, coupled with modern missile armament, positions it as a forward-deployed asset capable of operating in contested airspace.